guys, welcome back to Too Cool for Middle School. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I teach 6th and 8th grade history and English in Southern California. If you are not new here and you've been following me for a while, you might have raised your eyebrows a little bit at this video. So just to give you a little recap, a couple of months ago, Erin Condren released plans to do a Dr. Seuss collaboration with their planners. People were very, very excited. There's apparently a lot of Dr. Seuss fans in like the planner world, but a lot of people who use Erin Condren planners are teachers. Now, sometimes people kind of write off like teacher Instagram as just fluff, but let me tell you, teacher Instagram is where people hear from a much wider array of teachers. It's a much more diverse platform than like typically the teaching force in general and I think it's just such an important space for teachers to hear different perspectives and to continue to learn more about pedagogy and about the history of some of our books and things like that so like first of all if you are a teacher and you are mostly surrounded by people who look like you at your school site you need to be on Instagram and you need to be following people who don't look exactly like you and have different perspectives than you would normally get. Shout out to teacher Instagram. So anybody who follows The Conscious Kid knows about the very racist history of the man Dr. Seuss. I will definitely link the article below. I've shared it many, many times on my Instagram and I think on other videos as well. Oh, actually I have a book right here. Here's a book called Was the Cat in the Hat Black? So Dr. Seuss did a lot of things besides just write the typical books that you and I know of, Green Eggs and Ham, Cat in the Hat, whatever. He worked for the War Department and he made a lot of anti-Japanese propaganda and he chose to do it in a very racist way and depicting all Japanese people as like alley cats and an infestation. And I had known about that for a long time, but what I learned from the Conscious Kid article was that he also dressed in blackface. He based the cat in the hat off of like black minstrelsy. He depicted black people in incredibly racist ways in a lot of his cartoons. And once you see it, it's pretty difficult to unsee. Later in life, it sounds like he did apologize for some of the depictions that he drew, but within his books, there are underlying attitudes of like subservience from the characters that are not white and there are just stereotypes that persist throughout his books and some people just like worship everything Dr. Seuss and they don't like to find out that he was a more complicated person than they thought but teachers have really been the ones to spread this awareness and it's because of that whole like read across America thing and the NEA uh, signed a contract with the Seuss family. That's not their actual last name, I forget what it really is, but um, they got to use like the Cat in the Hat uh, images royalty free to promote Read Across America. And so then it kind of became like this celebration of Seuss books, which makes that family millions upon millions upon millions of dollars as we continue to like indoctrinate our young children with his books all the time, right? So, you know, that is problematic in itself. So anyway, when Erin Condren came out with this plan to collaborate with Seuss images on their planners, it was teachers on Instagram who expressed disappointment in that decision and they did what educators do and they educated the people on that post about Dr. Seuss's actual past and a lot of the things that he really did. Of course, I was one of the teachers that left a comment and there were like hundreds and it was so interesting to see these two kind of worlds combining. There were like the planner people and they clearly had never really interacted with like the teacher Instagram people and they didn't, they didn't know how to take it. I don't think that they were used to teachers being like so well informed and so assertive and people were just really thrown off by this. And I mean, they were clearly not ready to have a debate with people who had been sharing this information, studying this information, educating other people, educating their school sites about this information for a long time. And so the teachers on that thread just schooled everybody, no pun intended. So in the end, Erin Condren decided not to do that collaboration incorporating the Seuss images. And I think that was a really cool testament to the fact that teachers are 
educators and we know our stuff and we know about literature and we know about the lasting effects of the heroes that we start to promote even as young as like kindergarten and we're very aware of the consequences of images and we do care about somebody's background and somebody's history and so many teachers on that thread said they would boycott Erin Condren if they moved ahead with the Dr. Seuss planners so teachers collectively made their voice heard and it was just it was really interesting to see that and I'm almost glad that we had that platform and that place to showcase what we knew and what we believe in and it worked it changed the course of a company and i think it it changed course for them for the better they had no idea about the history of dr seuss and we were able to educate them on that and help them make a more informed decision so i just actually think that that was a really cool opportunity for teachers to make their voice heard so anyway for a while there i wasn't sure if i would be continuing to support erin condren or not but i am pleased with the decision that they made and i was on their pr list before that i was willing to take myself off of it but I was happy with the decision that they made and they do have really great quality planners and stationery and organizational supplies that I think make teachers lives easier and I really enjoy their stuff so uh, even though I was willing to go I was glad that they made that decision so long story long now that we've gone through that whole story they recently came out with their teacher planners for the year so I'm gonna go through everything in this box it's some really good stuff looks like this when you open it. They sent me a few extra things besides the teacher planner, so I'm pretty excited about that. First of all, we've got some Apple washi tape, and I've never met a rolled washi tape I didn't like. Oh, this is really cute. This is called a Planny Pack, which is hilarious. This stylish pack holds your pens and essentials while the elastic band slips over your planner for on-the-go organization. I do need something like this, so very cool. Ooh, sticky notes. And the really cool thing about these sticky notes is that you can snap them into the planner. And whenever I mess up on something, like I, I write something and then I have to change it later, I usually just like stick a sticky note over it because, you know, white out just doesn't look as good. Ooh, a petite journal. So this journal just has checklist pages. And I always need checklist pages. This is actually very exciting. I'm definitely gonna be using this because it's like different from my planner, you know? It's just like things that I need to get done that don't necessarily have like a date or a time. So, okay, that's good. Oh, snap-in bookmarks. These are super cute. Got little apples on them. Can keep your place in your planner. What? Okay, was there ever anything more me? I'm just gonna write two right there. Too cool for school, sticker book. Okay, we gotta we gotta open this one all the way up. Ooh, super cute. Look at these stickers. Oh my goodness. Little like habit trackers. Okay. Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, okay, okay. Yes, I am obsessed. <laughs> so on brand. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, a little dashboard. Oh, this is actually great to have as well. This is like a dry erase board thing for your week. Cause I too always need like a planner and then like my list and then like my do not forget to do this. I always have so many things going on that I need multiple reminders. Whoa, oh my goodness, okay. Here we have the actual planner. So of course, I wanted to get the one that says, make a difference in the world. And I really feel like that's what we did on Instagram with that one post. Even if it upset people, even if people didn't really take our point, we educated people and put more truth and more information out there. And that's something I love about teaching. That's something I love about teacher social media. So I thought this cover was fitting. Okay, so this planner is pretty thick. This is the teacher one. So I've been getting these planners for years and they always update them. It's always kind of fun to just see like the things that they've changed and made a little bit either more streamlined or just more fun. I feel like they kind of did both with this. So this is fun. You can just kind of write down your basic information here. Ooh, the pages are very thick. I like that. Got a communication log at the beginning. This is, if you are a teacher, this is something that you do need to remember to do. Just to log your communication communication with parents anytime you call them really more for yourself just kind of for like a legal kind of covering just noting that you did contact parents or try to contact parents all right I really like this next part this is like a year plan and I do always need to do something like this like in each month of the year like what are the major things that we have to fit in at that specific time oh this is kind of fun graph paper and it says you could use it for like seating charts organizing groups all right, this starts in July. If any of you go back in July, I feel very bad for you. That is so sad, but at least you've got 
planning pages. I go back in August, so it has like an August monthly spread and then it goes into the weekly spread. So let's see for me. All right, like Mondays would go this way. There are six different sections and I actually teach six different classes or six different periods. So this is perfect. It could be like my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then I also have a prep period. Maybe that could be like the last column. So for middle or high school teachers, this could definitely work for you because you could break this up by periods or maybe like if you teach a couple different classes, you could use these for those and then like one section for a to-do or whatever. But then for elementary school teachers, let's go to another color here. You could do like your math lesson, science lesson, reading groups, writing stuff whatever it is that elementary teachers do. <laughs> I only know from Instagram, really. Okay, so this goes all the way until July, again. Then you have some checklist pages at the end. Oh, quite a few checklist pages, all right. Some stickers that just come automatically with your purchase. Oh, I like these. Oh, very cute. Then there's also this little folder in the back. Oh, it's double-sided. Oh, this is cool too. And then you have another page right here, like a page protector and inside, oh wow, it has more stickers. And then your last page is another wet erase board so you can write down little ideas back there. And it comes with a bookmark because this one is pretty thick. It's kind of a heavy one. So this is one that I would leave at my desk and just lesson plan in it while I'm at school, it would be a little bit hard to take back and forth, I feel like, just because it is kind of heavy. But it is very well laid out. It's very pretty. They have all kinds of different covers. I just liked this one for myself. And I think what makes Erin Condren special is all of their different accessories, like their stickers and their address labels and their journals and all of that kind of stuff. So it is really fun to shop on their website. I have a discount code down below for $10 off. And if you're in the market for a new teacher planner, these ones look really nice. So I'm excited to go through already and just start like filling in all of my information. <laughs> I love filling out a calendar, mostly because that's when I get to write down like Christmas break and spring break. Oh, okay, I just noticed also that after the last day of weekly planning, they also give you a couple of pages of lists, just like lined paper, and then even like things to remember for the upcoming month. So that's really nice, like with this, I'm not gonna need a whole lot of other planners or anything else to keep track of anything because I've just got it all in one book. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that was helpful and I'll be sharing other pictures and things over on my Instagram so you can follow me there. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.